Hi there. Welcome back. I'm so excited to read a good book to you today, and I am so happy to see you. But first, what do we have to do? You're right. We've got to sing our good morning song. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Good morning, Miss Flowers class. How are you? Good morning, Miss Flowers class. How are you? How are you this special day? We're so glad you came today. Good morning, Miss Flowers class. How are you? Man, we have a great book to read today. Are you ready? All right, are you guys ready? All right, everyone get in your spot so you can hear our great book. Okay, guys, you ready to get in your spot? Okay. I have a great book today. And it is all about liking yourself. I like myself. Wow. What part of the book is this? You're right. It is the front. What part is this? That's right. It's the back. And the author of this book is Karen Beaumont. And what does the author do? That's right. She writes the book. And the illustrator is David Catro. And what does the illustrator do? That's right. He draws the pictures. I like myself. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. Look at her. What is on her head? Yeah, some volleyballs. Let's count them. You ready? One, two, three. Three volleyballs. Wow. And what is he standing on? That's right. A sock, a soccer ball. And what shape is it? Yeah, it's shaped like a circle. Well, or a sphere because it has air in it. There's no one else I'd rather be. Wow. Look. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. Now, well, she likes her eyes. Where are your eyes? Where are your eyes? Good, good. Show me where your ears are. Where are your ears? Yes, there are your ears. What do you do with your ears? That's right, you hear with your ears. And what do you do with your eyes? That's right, you see with your eyes. I like my fingers and my toes. Show me your fingers. Yes, they are your fingers. Fingers, fingers. Show me your toes. <gasps> yes, there are your toes. Yes, I like them. They're so cute. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. Oh, look. What is she going to see? Yep, it's a lion. Oh, does he look happy? What's... Oh, no. He's got a tear coming from his eye. He might be sad. I like me fast. Ooh, show me fast. Show me fast. Yes. I like me slow. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. Wow, look. She's in a what? Yeah, in a rocket ship. What color is it? Yep, it's green. And what color is that? Yep, yellow. And what color is this? Right, it is red. And look at this. Is this a short flower? Or is it a tall flower. It is a tall flower. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. Look at that. What are those? Yes, that's her bones. That's her bones. And what color are her bones? Yep, they're white. Yep. 
inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all, it is all me, and me is all I want to be. Wow. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. She doesn't care what people think or say. She's happy with herself. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Look, what are she and her friend doing? That's right, they're playing in the water. Is she mad because someone won't play with her? No. She said, I'm very happy and it won't bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, look at that. Where is she now? That's right, she's in her bed. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. Wow, look at this. She's writing something and it's really big. What is it? It's a really big bicycle, isn't it? Wow, look at these. What are these? Yes, it's the big wheels on the bicycle. But her bicycle has something really full of your of imagination. What is it? Her bicycle has legs and feet. Oh my. I still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. Oh no. What does she have on? What has a snout? What animal has a snout? That's right, a pig has a snout, but she likes her snout. Look at her puppy dog. <laughs> or knobby knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips. Look at that. <laughs> there are lots of rhyming words in this book. Look, hips and lips. Wow. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Oh my! Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. Look at that. Look at those horns coming out of her nose. But she says I'd still be the same. I like myself because I'm me. Wow. Point to me. Yep, I'm right here. Point to yourself. Yep. And say, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yep. How great is that? The end. What a terrific book. I'm glad we could read this really good book together. I will see you tomorrow with another great book. What a terrific book we had today. I like myself. And she said that she liked her eyes, her ears, her fingers, and even her toes. Wow, do you like your eyes? Yep, what about your ears? And your nose, your fingers, and your toes. I'll bet you do. They are what make you you. And with your eyes, you're able to do what? That's right. You're able to see. And with your ears, you're able to what? That's right. You're able to hear. And with your nose, you're able to do what? Oh, yes. Yeah, you're able to smell yummy food and nice flowers. So today, I thought that maybe we would use some of my favorite toys. Do you know what this is? 
You're right, this is a potato head. I love the potato heads. And we are going to put a potato head together. So first, we're gonna give this potato head what? Yeah, let's give this potato head some feet and a body so that it can stand up for us, okay? All right, so first, we want our potato head to be able to see. So of these things, which of these would I use for my potato head to be able to see? Would I use the mouth or the eyes? You're right. I need the eyes for my potato head to be able to see. Look at that. There we go. So now potato head can see. All right, now we want potato head to be able to hear. So would I use these ears or would I use the nose for potato head to be able to hear? Ears or nose? Very good. Ears are made for hearing. And how many ears do we have? One, two. Show me your ears. Where are they? That's right, there they are on each side of your head. So we're going to give Potato Head one ear on the right side and one ear on the left side. So now our Potato Head can hear. Very good. Look at that. Okay, now we want Potato Head to be able to smell. So, does Potato need a mouth to smell? Or does Potato need a nose to smell? Which one? Yes, Potato needs a nose to be able to smell. So, where is your nose? Point to your nose. Very good. Your nose is right there, right in the middle of your face. So, let's put Potato's nose right in the middle of the face. So, now Potato can smell. Oh, good smelling flowers. Yes, and yummy food. All right. Now... Potato needs to be able to taste. So, does potato need a mouth to taste or some hands to taste? So, what do you taste with? Yeah, you taste with your tongue, which is in where? That's right, it's right in your mouth. So, what does potato need to be able to taste? Yeah, she needs her mouth. So, let's put Potato's mouth right here. Wow, look at that. Now Potato can taste. She can smell. What can she do with her eyes? That's right, she can see. And with these ears, what can she do? Yes, yeah, she can hear. That's right. Now we want to give potato head something else. What is this? That's right. It's hair. Hair. So is this hair or do you think this is hair? Which one? Point to the one that's hair. Yeah, you're right. This yellow one is hair. So we're just going to put it right on potato. Oh, look. Look at Potato's hair. And now, do you think Potato is a girl or a boy? You think it's a girl or a boy? A girl, boy. Okay, well, we're gonna see. All right, so now Potato needs to be able to feel some things and touch. So, does she need a hand to be able to touch or some glasses to be able to touch? Which one? Hand to touch? or glasses to touch. 
You're right, she needs her hand to be able to touch. So, let's give her, how many hands do you have? One, two. So let's give Potato two arms and two hands. You have one on the right side. Look at that one on the right side and one on the left side. So let's give Potato two arms, one on the right side and one on the left side. Wow, look at her, now she can touch. Well, okay. Now, Potato wants something to keep her money in. So, would she keep her money in the purse or would she keep her money in her glasses? Point to the one that she would keep her money in. What did you? Okay, so three people said a purse and one person said her glasses. And three is more than one, and yep, you would keep your money in your purse. So let's put her purse right on her hand, just like that. All right, Potato wants to be able to keep the rain off of her head. So would she use a hat to keep the rain off of her head or would she use her glasses to keep the rain off of her head? Which one? Point to the one. Yes, you're right. She would use her hat. What color is her hat? Yes, it is blue. And where does the hat go? You're right. The hat goes on her head. So let's put the hat on her head to keep the rain off of her head. And finally, what does Potato need these glasses for? What do you think I need my glasses for? That's right, sometimes you need glasses to be able to see. And if you have glasses, you should wear your glasses all the time so that you can see well. Miss Flowers wears her glasses all the time. And Potato is going to wear her glasses as well. Look at that. Wow. So now, Potato is all put together. She has eyes to what? See, good. She has ears so she can hear. That's right. She has a nose so she can smell. That's right. She has a mouth so she can what? Taste, that's right. She has hands so that she can what? Touch, that's right, and feel. She has a hat that keeps the rain off of her what? Off of her head, that's right. Well, we put our potato head all together. Do you think it's a girl or a boy? You think it's a girl? I think it's a girl too. Well, this was super fun. I hope that you get a chance to play with a potato head toy very soon. And I hope that you enjoyed our book today, I Like Myself. And I hope you like yourself. And I want you to know that you are super special and everyone around you thinks that you're super special. I will see you tomorrow.